You might think that question three is easy. Well, it is in the sense that you can get a couple of marks, but then to get everything in this question is kind of difficult. Let's see what we have here. So let us investigate the boiling points of the four organic compounds given below. And then you can see the organic compounds there and their molecular mass. And then the first question 3.1, let's define the term boiling point. It is the temperature. So it is the temperature at which VP is equals to ATP. What am I saying? The temperature at which the vapor pressure is equals to the atmospheric pressure. That's what we refer to as the boiling point, right? It is not the temperature where liquid turns into gas. No, 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 no. We don't say that anymore. And then 3.2, which compound butane one all or two methyl propane one all will have the higher boiling point? fully explain your answer. So let's look at these two compounds and see how they differ. They're all alcohols, right? So they have the same kind of intermolecular forces, which is hydrogen only. But in butane one all, you have four carbons in a straight chain. And then in two methyl propane one all, you have three carbons in a straight chain and you have a branch, right? So that is how they differ they differ in branching. So in order to answer this question, you have to know the relationship between branching, surface area, intermolecular forces, and consequently boiling point. So between these two compounds, butane one all, butane one all will have a higher boiling point. Why am I saying so? That is because an increase in branching, right? If uh, the branching increases, then the surface area decreases, right? And then decrease in surface area decreases the intermolecular forces. And then if intermolecular forces decreases, less energy is going to be required to overcome the intermolecular forces and consequently a lower boiling point. So the boiling point will also be lower. That is uh, 3.2. Let's look at 3.3. So we are told that the calves P, Q, R, and S below were obtained from the result of the investigation. X represents a specific temperature, right? And then 3.3, uh, the question is saying, which physical property is represented by temperature X? So let's look at our question one more time. What are we investigating? We're investigating the boiling points between these four organic compounds, right? And then you can see that X here on our graph, it corresponds with P, right? The graph for compound P. So what can you say the answer to 3.3 is? We're investigating the boiling point of these four compounds. That is the boiling point, boiling point of P right from our investigation and then 3.4 so we have 3.4 and 3.4.1 which have uh, p q r or s represents butanone so let's take a different approach so the first compound we have here is butanone right uh, we have so let me just see uh, before we answer 3.4.1 let's do this first so we have uh, butanone and we know that the intermolecular forces there is dipole, dipole, right? We have dipole, dipole. And then let's come to butane, uh, butane one all. Yeah, the intermolecular force there is hydrogen bonding. So we have hydrogen bonding. And then uh, propanoic acid. So we have propanoic acid, propanoic acid. What is the intermolecular forces in uh, propanoic acid? It is hydrogen bonding, but then it's two sides compared to butane one all with only one side. So we also have hydrogen bonding here, but then the hydrogen bonding in propanoic acid will be way much stronger than the hydrogen bonding in butane one all. Because in propanoic acid, we have two sides of hydrogen bonding. And then obviously, uh, two methyl propane one all, we know that that is hydrogen uh, bonding, right? So the compound with the highest intermolecular forces of these three should be propanoic acid, right? So we have propanoic acid. And then what comes next? What comes next is butane one all right so we have butane 
one all and then in third place we have two methyl propan one all right and lastly we have butanol right so now we can actually attempt answering our questions right so which curve pick your s represent butanol so it will be the one with the lowest boiling point and that is s right so we can say that um three point 4.1 our answer is s and then 3.4.2 propanoic acid it should be the one with the highest boiling point so that is p and then 3.4.3 two methyl propane one all so it should be the one second from bottom right it should be the one second from bottom so we say that s is butan is butanone so compound r should be two methyl propane one all so compound r is two methyl propane one all and then 3.5 let's give a reason for the answer in question 3.4.2 why we see in p is propanoic acid right we know that hydrogen bonding is much stronger than dipole dipole right but then the hydrogen bonding in propanoic acid is much stronger than the hydrogen bonding in the two alcohols the compound here with the highest boiling point with the strongest intermolecular forces should be propanoic acid and that is why we're saying it is compound p